Yeah, but hey my boy john eric here with gorilla pro customs so i'm going to show you how to get the box open how to clean it uh basically everything you need to know about it's going to happen in the next few seconds so i'm going to give you either this tool or this tool it's your choice if you lose it just call me i can overnight you one really quick uh or you can run down to home depot and get this tool it's just a standard allen bolt so the bolts here on my left Seem like they're shorter, they're not. Let me explain to you what happened here. Well, nothing happened, this is how we do it. This seems to come up a little bit higher. The reason for that is, well, before I explain that, let me show you something. So we did opt not to do handles. I did that for aesthetics, and then also because we ended up making the lid as light as possible, it's not really heavy. Um, I was also told that you're a big, strong guy, so you can handle it. So all you do is grab both sides, the top piece, Lift it straight up and set it down on something soft. The bolts will sit there. Now, if you look here, these holes are different than these holes. These holes are to accept alignment sleeves, which I'll show you in a second what those mean. That just means before the bolt starts tightening, it drops down another hair further. That's why the bolts on this side seem shorter than not. As far as the inside goes, this is Alcantara. Um, if you spill something on it, uh, we're going to have to Google that together. This is the first time I put Alcantara. Call your Lamborghini guy who cleans your Lamborghinis. He'll know how to clean this if you do that. And these just drop right out. You can literally just turn this over. And these will drop right out. These are not glued in. They are made to just come right out like that. There really is no maintenance to do. Um, the bottom, I will point this out also. So these two pieces, these yellow and blue, are separate pieces but they're bolted together. There's no reason I can think of that you would ever need to unbolt those. Um, no reason in the world, unless you just want to take it apart and see what it's like. Um, if you end up doing that for any reason, just make sure the diamonds are all lined up going left, right, not the other way. Otherwise your lid's going to sit on crooked. It'll still work, but it won't be perfect the way I designed it. Now I do want to explain to you this. When you set it back down, if you have the bolts in it, that's okay. Just do it carefully. This is expensive. Just lay it down as close as you can to perfect. The alignment sleeves will pick it up and make it line up perfect. Now this uh, yellow in here is still wet, so I can't show you this, but what you wanna do is get some non-ammonia. I recommend spray away. This is the best glass cleaner on the planet. It cleans actually lots of things. I'm gonna include a couple of these 550 GSM towels. These are super plush, super soft. If you get dirt on these, probably throw it out or don't use it for this. So if you ever do, get dust or fingerprints or whatever on the resin. The easiest way to clean it is to spray it lightly, just a little spritz with uh, spray away, fold your towel up and wipe it in one direction a couple times and it'll be flawless forever. It'll last literally for a lifetime. Uh, there's no maintenance on the tools. Um, I don't know that you're gonna set this outside, but this uh, coating is called gun coat. This is very durable. We use this on firearms, knives, knives all the time so this is really really durable obviously if you throw it down the street you're going to scratch it up um, if you ever have any issues at all just call me whatever knife you get also i'm not sure which one you, I, I made these four knives uh, we actually we made four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve we made about 25 knives and the reasoning behind making so many was really simple we have a deadline that's only three days away and I can't wait till the last minute and find out, oh my God, something went wrong. Something already did go wrong. We actually had one of these that I was gonna put in the pile to do, and it got a scratch on it. So I was like, mm -hmm. you know what? Right there. So this happened during assembly, that little scratch. Guess what? I have a backup right over here. Now I don't have to call you up and say, hey man, I was gonna do this really cool thing for you, but we only had one and it got scratched. Who cares? We can, we can make another one, no big deal. So when you tighten it back down, it's really simple. I would just use the long end like this. If you put it like this and crank it down real tight, there's no reason to do that. No reason in the world. Just give it a nice little snug. This will take a few more because these have different holes underneath. And that's why we paint this in. You can use it, but you don't need to use it. And we leave this in polished stainless steel because this is going to be the end that you use. So uh, that's pretty much everything you need to know about it. Like I said, the bottom, there's no reason you need to separate it. Um, as far as how is it going to perform in a fire, I have no idea. If it ever burns down, let me know. You're welcome. Happy birthday.